Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Welcome back to a cool and cloudy spring day. The grass is a love in this weather. Things are getting green. As you can see across the mountain, it looks like our trees are starting to blossom and bloom. And we've got a bunch of hungry horses here on this beautiful manure day. And of course, two hungry miniature donkeys as well. So let's get started with measuring out, getting the muck buckets out of the stalls and getting hay in the stalls so we can let in all these beautiful animals and check and see how they're doing. Now normally I start with measuring things out, but I think today we're gonna be a little different and we're gonna get started on putting hay in the stalls. As you guys have seen, the large square bales that we've gotten in are two different sizes. We have this size, which is three feet by three feet by seven feet. And we have this size, which is three feet by four feet by seven feet. I call these the big large square bales and these the large square bales because they're both bigger than a small square bale. You following me? Good. These are the bales that we try to use for out in the pastures and we've only got six left, four in the back and two over here. And these bales we have been using out in the pastures, but we've noticed where they really excel is being used in our stable because the flakes come off like this and are definitely something that's easier to maneuver around for the inside of our barn, which has definitely made things resemble what it used to be like with the small square bales, only in a larger form. And this is nice because we have some horses that are in our barn that need extra hay, which is the hay that we put in the stalls. Since our horses aren't kept in the stalls all day and all night, some horses like Champ here actually don't need any hay in their stalls since they're only in their stall for about an hour. Whereas other horses like George need a little bit of extra weight put on so they get hay in their stalls. It's nice because it's different for each horse. Declan needs hay. Danny is a little bit on the overweight side, so Danny doesn't get hay. And that's that balance that we're always striving to maintain with all the horses. And it changes daily. Especially as we are in spring and approaching summer and as the grass in the pasture is growing up. As the grass gets greener and taller, we again have to change things accordingly. Three days ago, it was 90 degrees. Today, it's in the mid 40s. We're in that roller coaster right now for spring. And as you can imagine, that's pretty hard on the animals. We need to be very vigilant when it comes to their dietary needs. Speaking of dietary needs, Buster, Rocky, you guys ready for some food? Oh, let's give you some num nums. Here you go. There you go, Buster. There you go, Rocky. Wow, look at all the hay you guys didn't eat. Hey, Poncho. Wow, Buster, are you just gonna let Rocky steal your food like that? Wow. Man. <laughs> All right, we'll let those two work that out and we're gonna get Poncho turned in because Poncho, he's ready to be turned in. Poncho's always ready to get some food. Right, William? There we go, things are set up for Tucker. Hey, Buster, hey, Rocky. There's some extra light for you guys. Those hay feeders look empty. We're definitely gonna need to put out some hay today, which means we get to use the new tractor. We'll talk more on that later for now. We've got some real beauties in front of us. Look at Roni. Hey, buddy. Hey, William. Good morning, guys. Good to see you. Looks like William's got a loose strap we'll have to tie up. Hey, Roni. Okay, okay. Jeepers, Jack. Wonder what Jack did to aggravate Roni so much. Wow. Morning, champ. Hey, George. Looking beautiful. Hey, Casino. Man, we really got some luckers in this herd, don't we, guys? Hey, Rebel. Yeah, hey, Scoots. Hey, puppy girl. Hey, puppy girl. All right, that's everyone from the middle field. Let's move on to the big field. Hey, Suede. Hey, Spitfire. Hey, Duke. Hey, Sriracha. Obi, Skywalker, Declan. All coming in at once there. <laughs> Archer. Danny, and Gavin. Boy, they're real quick to get in that barn, aren't they? Yeah, there's the big boys. Hey, Samson, hey, Tucker. Look at those two giants, my word. And then the real behemoth. Look at the size of docks. <laughs> hey, Weather. 
Hey Argento. Looking good, my dude. Okay. Tucker. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Come here. Come here. That's it. There we go, Tucker. Are you trying to steal some food off weather? Huh? There you go, Tucker. Good boy. Well, aside from that little hiccup, everybody is in the barn and all eating some food. Let's let these beauties eat their grain and check the charts and see what they need for the day. Before Gavin gets started on Menorah Day, by the way, Gavin, good morning. Hello. How are you guys today? Oh, it's so good to see you. How was your weekend? Exciting. You guys saw half of it. That they did, that they did. Thank you so much for filling in for me, Gavin. I really appreciated that. Don't worry about it, Joel, anytime. Before we get started, do you think you can help me with uh, Declan? Absolutely. Perfect, thank you. So for those that don't know Declan, Declan is a very funky horse. You could say that. There's a lot of qualities to love about Declan, but one of the things that's rather interesting about him that's a rather unhorse-like characteristic. It's hard to get him to eat. As you can see, his hay feeder is chock full. And he absolutely loves just dropping the grain down there on the bottom. And sometimes he likes to lick it up. Other times he doesn't really feel like it. Depends on the day. So right now we're having a little bit of an issue with Declan and we want to make sure that he is not losing any weight. So something that we're doing to make sure that he's not lacking in any minerals is we've noticed that he's walking a little bit different and he's exhibiting symptoms of a horse that is a little bit light on electrolytes. We tried putting it in the grain. He won't eat it. Doesn't like the taste of it. Danny likes the taste of it. Gavin likes the taste of it. Even Archer likes the taste of it, but not that one. So that means that we're gonna have to give it to him orally to make sure that he's getting what he needs. So Gavin, would you mind filming this for us? Okay. One of the nice qualities about Menorah Day is that the horses do st spend a little bit of extra time in their stalls, which gives horses like Declan here the opportunity to actually finish all of his grain. So we're gonna just wait until he's done chewing because I don't want all the grain to wash out of his mouth. If you look at a horse's mouth right here, there are no teeth. There's teeth on the front and there's teeth on the back. It's okay, it's okay. All right. You can actually see where they start right about here and then they go all the way up the jaw to here. All teeth. But nothing here where the bridle usually goes. And that's exactly where we're going to stick this. Right in that area where it's his gums and his tongue. And then we're going to squirt it to the back of his jaw just to make sure he doesn't spit it out and that he's able to get all of his medicine. This is what we do when we're deworming a horse and it's going to basically be the same way. Ready Declan? It's okay buddy. It's okay. As you can see, Declan loves medicine. Right, Declan? Right, Declan? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, you gotta swallow it, Declan. <laughs> you gotta swallow it, buddy. Supposedly, it's apple flavored. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And now that all that's taken care of, we can move on to one of the best parts of the day, manure day. Gavin, I gotta know, how thankful are you to all the viewers for sending over those gift cards so we can get those tires fixed? So much, so, so much. Notice any differences? It drives way better, much smoother, more adjective. More noun. Thank you for your adjectives and nouns, Gavin. Anita. So Gavin's gonna get started on manure day. And what I'm gonna do is get started on hay because we need to get hay taken out, which means we need to put the new tractor to work. Whoop, whoop. We're gonna be putting out the big bales today. So I think what we're gonna do, as was mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're really liking using these bales for inside the barn. So I'm gonna take all of these bales out so that I have access to the big bales. And those are the bales we're gonna use out in the pasture. That way we can use the smaller large bales for in the barn. We're still learning. This is our first year using large square bales. So we're still getting everything fine tuned. That's why we're doing a lot of moving around here and there. But now we know for next time when it comes to stacking the bales in, how we want to do it and things to keep in mind so we don't have to do this twice. A little bit more, Gavin. Come back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Ready to go. I couldn't resist 
guys, I already hooked up the yard rake and drug the arena. It was actually the first time we got to drag the arena for this spring. The girls wanted it done. It was something that needed to get done for a while. And I wanted to get some time in the tractor seat. So this has already been done. But no worries, there'll be plenty of more opportunities. That's something we're gonna be doing the entire summer. But since we're working on hay, what we're gonna do is unhook that yard rake because I don't wanna have something behind me while I'm going through the aisleways. The tractor's already big enough. We don't need something causing any more problems in here. This tractor's definitely got a lot more power than the other one. Let's get these all these bales out of the barn. Well, let me tell you guys, this bale was quite a hoot. Oh, that was a hoot. We ended up having one string that was already popped on this bale, and the other string blew out when I was trying to put the bale spike into the bale, which left us with just these two pieces of baler twine right here, which meant bale spike had no bite. So we needed the pallet forks. And then of course we needed the bale to stay together on our way out here. So we got a ratchet strap, got it together to hold the bale. Now that it's here, it doesn't need to stay together because it's on the lunch menu. After you, Gavin. The hay is in, but Joel is leaving. We gotta beat him back. We're off to a fast start. So we've got these five bales inside here and we will be taking these and just kind of putting them in the barn when we need them. And that leaves us access to the big bales. And for now, the tractor's just gonna sit tight right here. We are actually getting grain today. Do you think the tractor will be able to pick up the full load of grain that we get? Without a problem. He's got high hopes. I'm a little bit more conservative. I'm thinking uh, it, it might be a no. We'll see, it's, it's a lot of weight. Time will tell. In the meantime, we need to let out the horses because they have been in all morning and they are ready to stretch their legs, stretch their hooves, and gallop on out. Okay, the first animal we're gonna be letting out is Tucker, but I just wanna check and see because they had a lot of hay. Yeah, the donkeys are set for today. Right, guys? I think we'll open up both pastures so they have access to both pastures, but I think they're good on hay. Hey, Tucker, you ready to get let out, my man? Oh, man. A lot of you guys have Tucker as your favorite horse at our stable, and I understand why. He's beautiful. Hey, Swade. My Swade. Yeah, there you go. Nice good bite of hay. 
courses will munch this up as they're going in and out today. I know one thing's for certain, the cool temperatures, the cloudy skies, and the wet weather means that the grass is growing. I'm hopeful we'll get a nice hay crop this year. There you go, Sriracha. Bye, Archer. See you later, champ. All right, we'll let these guys get a drink and then we'll let out the next group. Hey, how you doing? All right, thanks mom, we'll see ya. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little interesting comeuppets that weather was doing there, cause that was quite funny watching back. <laughs> but now it's time for lunch, so Gavin and I are heading in to get some grub. Again, what's for lunch? I don't know what these are called. Andrew, what's for lunch? Cheese steaks! <laughs> cheese steaks, oh my gosh. You didn't know that's a cheese steak? I don't know. Man, I am excited. All right, well, Gavin, Left me already, I guess it's time to get some food. We just wrapped up with lunch, and let me tell you, it was phenomenal. We liked those cheesesteaks, didn't we, darling? Yes, they were really good. All right, Gavin, what are we gonna do next? We're getting grain. Look at this man work. Man, what an athlete. Hey, what do you think of Daniel's working ability? Daniel's hot. I'm pretty cold right now, though. How are you doing today? I'm cold. Why are you cold? It was 80 degrees the other day. Well, now it's 40. It's only half. Yeah. Only half. That's the most sad thing. Oh, that's what we call very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? The wind took my watermelons. Not your watermelons. Anything but your watermelons. Oh, Andrew, are you happy it's cold? I was really concerned when I saw Joel backing this up with no hitch inside the truck. I was, I didn't know what was gonna happen. But now I understand the hitch was inside the truck. It just wasn't attached to the truck. Andrew, I want you to know, I know what I'm doing here and there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take the trucks out. What, are you gonna take the trucks out for dinner? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you guys doing for? We're trying to film a video here. What's going on? What do you think we're doing oh over here? Oh my goodness. I think two lives have just crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall up in here. Oh, yeah. We are back to the stable with our fully loaded trailer. Let's see how the bags fared. Oh, well, good deal. Well, we did something a little different this time. Usually, we put everything on one pallet, but this time we decided to put everything on two. All the Calm Ultras on one. The main menu and all of the other bags are on another. My thought was that this might be a, a good amount of weight to test out, kind of really see how the tractor is able to do. I still have to put those rear wheel weights in the tractor, but this is a good way to see just how well that new loader can do. I, I'm told it should be able to pick up about 2,400 pounds. This should be about 1,900 pounds on the first pallet and then of course considerably less on the second. Well, let's find out. Awesome. Man, do I love that we put that light switch in. Whew, that is nice. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see what she's got. Any 
my wheel weight, Gavin. All right, so the good news is that my tractor, without extra weights on the back, the tires are loaded, looks like it could pick up about 1,500 pounds. Now, mind you, the 1,500 pounds is on a pallet fork, so all the weight is out on the front, which does make it a little bit harder for the tractor to pick it up, but it was able to pick that up with no issues. I think with some rear weights added in the back, we probably could lift up the Com Ultra pallet with no issues. I'm definitely happy with the whole two pallet idea, I think this is what we're gonna do moving forward. That being said, we've got a number of bins that are empty and need to be filled. So let's start opening up some bags. Well guys, good news, we have all the grain unloaded, all the bins are full. We actually even have 10 bags extra of Calm Ultra, which is pretty nice. So we'll pop those in the bins as we get them unloaded. Gavin has already gotten started measuring out. Looks like he's got one wing down while I was parking the tractor. I still need to go and park the truck and trailer. So Gavin's gonna be working on measuring out the next roof while I work on that. Now that everything's parked, Gavin has all the grain measured out for all the stalls. Him and I work together putting that in. This is the last little bit here. All right, now that all the horses are in, Tucker's already ready to go back out into the pasture. He's got a long night of grass grazing ahead of him. Gavin's gonna hook up to the wagon. There is an old post in the big field that we're gonna go get rid of. One of the horses is using that post for something it's not supposed to be used for. It's an old post that we left in the ground and the horses have been rubbing on it a lot and have been creating actually an erosion circle around the post that we don't want. So we're just gonna rip the post out of the ground so it's not a problem. I don't expect this to be too big of a deal. We're just gonna take the tractor down, rip the post out of the ground, put it in the wagon, and then we should be set to go. You ready? Yep. All right, now we're in the big field. Now we just gotta drive all the way to the bottom. So the concern is that this post that has been here is part of an old fence line that's no longer used in our horse pasture. And as you guys can see, there's clearly a lot of time that's spent here and it's creating an uneven wear in the pasture, which is one thing. We're also concerned that this is something that's being used for potential cribbing. So we don't want anything like that in the pasture. So this post here and that post there, we're just gonna pull out of the ground and keep our eyes open, see if there's something like that that's happening at all anywhere else to have any more problems. These aren't cemented in the ground, so the tractor shouldn't have any problem just ripping them right out. Gavin's gotta go, guys. We'll see him later. Thanks for the help today, Gavin. Well, that made short work of that that's for sure that was barely even an issue <laughs> that was quite simple which is really good as you guys can see it pulled the whole post right out of the ground good stuff good stuff all right well as you guys know gavin had to go but we still got to finish feeding horses which means i gotta let these ponies out well as you guys can see we pretty much have all the horses turned out just a few left and then that's it for today. If I were to wrap up today, I would say, wow, that new tractor was an excellent investment. I am excited for the future, the projects that we have this year. I think we're gonna be able to get a lot of work done. I think the horses are ultimately gonna benefit from everything, and that makes me feel so good inside. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the videos. Uh, my goal with each video is to educate, entertain, and inspire. And I really hope that the, the videos come across that way. I always want to teach you guys something new. 
I'd love to make your day a little bit better than it was before you clicked on the video. And to remind everybody just how beautiful being outdoors really is. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure that you're subscribed. Keeps you up to date on all the future videos coming out. Helps the channel grow. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.